my wonderful husband and I. so happy and excited that there are so many of our loved ones here with us today to help celebrate this happy day. It's not often that you get a chance to celebrate your partner in front of all of your friends and family, so I'm relishing this opportunity to tell you a little bit about just how wonderful he is. Since there are no real rules for a bride's speech, I thought it might be quite nice to tell you all a little story about how we met. Having been through my fair share of ups and downs when it came to the world of dating and relationships, I was cautiously optimistic when I met Tom, when we matched on a well-known dating app. <laughs> Often repeating the phrase to friends and family who would ask me about him, it's going really well so far, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Fast forward a month and things continued to be going really well. We'd enjoyed a series of great dates, getting to know each other and feeling our relationship building. One day, Tom asked me to be his girlfriend. And later that day, the first UK national lockdown was announced. <laughs> I remember talking about it with my friends. I'd finally met a great guy, it was going really well, and he'd asked me to be his girlfriend, and the same day a national lockdown is announced. Typical. My lovely friend and bridesmaid Emily said at the time it would make a great story for the wedding. From that day onwards, we were prohibited from meeting up with one another. Living almost an hour away from each other at the time, we couldn't even pass each other on our daily walks. What followed was several months of dating from a distance, phone calls, video calls, Skype dates with cocktails, and films in our respective houses. Being forced to spend many months apart from one another at such an early stage of our relationship wasn't the ideal way to begin a new romance, but in a strange way, the world shut down and our diaries clear of social events, we had the time and space to really get to know one another. When we were finally able to be reunited, it felt amazing, and I can still remember the feeling of excitement, happy tears in my eyes when Tom knocked on the door of my flat after all those months apart. Months later, another lockdown was announced and we decided that Tom would move in with me. By the time the lockdown ended, it was clear to both of us that we didn't want him to move back to his house share. His housemate, who was Hungarian, was sad to say goodbye to Tom, telling me that he was one of the nicest English guys he knew and, <laughs> <laughs> and telling me I, I must look after him. Tom being modest and not one to brag, later told me that his housemate didn't know any English men. <laughs> but four and a half years later, I can attest to the fact that as far as English guys go, Tom is pretty good. You are the best partner I could possibly wish for. Kind, caring, supportive, thoughtful. And the ease with which we both felt when we met, first met has never gone away. You are my favorite person, my best friend, and the most wonderful daddy to Isaac. Watching his little face light up when he sees you is truly one of the greatest joys of my life, and I feel lucky and grateful every day to have you both in my life. During the early weeks of getting to know Tom, a friend asked me the question, does he make you feel safe, secure, and special? I can honestly say that Tom, you have made me feel all of those things every single day since we met. Here's to the next exciting chapter as Mr. and Mrs.
On behalf of my beautiful wife, Ali, and myself, I'd like to thank you all for being here. Um, we really do appreciate it. Um, it brings us great joy to have you all together to celebrate with us. Alison, you look absolutely incredible. I feel very lucky to have you in my life and by my side. grateful for your kindness, generosity and support and there was never a question that you were the one I wanted to spend my life with. My love for you has grown since having Isaac and seeing you as such an incredible mother to him. He, <laughs> he is also very lucky to have you in his life. For those who, those who don't see Alison day to day, she is a, a, deep, a deeply caring teacher and now Senko. I'm constantly in awe of your drive, your generosity, determination, and care for the students that you, that you help. Being a parent has been the most testing thing I have ever done, but doing it with you is, um, has been a joy. We've, we've pulled through the hard times, and uh, <laughs> I look forward to our future together as a family. <laughs> Tom and Alison, you've made the declarations prescribed by law, and you've made solemn and binding marriage vows with each other in the presence of your guests, witnesses, and the Registrar of Marriages. You have sealed those vows with the giving and receiving of wedding rings, and in addition, you have given to each other a promise of lifelong commitment. So Tom and Alison, it now gives me great pleasure to pronounce you as husband and wife. Tom, would you like to kiss your wife? <laughs> <laughs>